On a scientific expedition in Gabon, at the end of January 2008, an international team of researchers, headed by Professor Abderazak El Albani of the University of Poitiers, made a discovery proving that multicellular organisms existed 2.1 billion years ago. Until then, the first organized complex forms of life had been traced back only 670 million years. This major discovery is going to revolutionize current knowledge on the origins of multicellular life. The quarry where the team is working is located in the Franceville Basin in Gabon. It had once been a functioning quarry. What sets this basin apart is the degree to which both its sediment and fossil content have been preserved. At some level, a space just a half meter square contains some 40 specimens. And within this area, you'll see several forms positioned in no particular direction. We have some thoughts about the specimen itself, and its impression in both the slab and counter slab can easily be seen. After I got back from the first expedition in 2008, I sent some photos to an expert who told me that these specimens dated from 500 to 6 million years ago. At that point, I realized we really had some work to do here. Various geochronological methods have been employed, including uranium-led dating. All of the datings converge toward a period some 2 billion 100 million years ago, plus or minus 30 million. The specimens were preserved due to pyritization, a process that can in practice occur in just 80 days by means of sulfate reduction. The result is a fossil that has mineralized very quickly, and thus one which shows a strong contrast between the highly mineralized area, which is hard, and the part that is loose. So, the specimen's morphology is clearly conveyed on the sediment. In addition to that, an analysis of the host sediment makes it possible to reconstruct Earth paleo environments, particularly during that period when the planet was at about half its current age. The planet is estimated to be about 4.3 to 4.4 billion years old. 2.1 billion years ago is just about the halfway point in the Earth existence. It is also a critical, even pivotal period in both the history of our planet and the history of life. To analyze the morphology of these specimens in the finest detail, we had to find a non-invasive technique, a non-destructive way of examining the morphology of these objects in 3D. To do this, at the University of Poitiers, we have an X-ray microtomography machine, which is used to focus high-intensity radiation on an object turning through 360 degrees. The result is 1,600 X-rays, 1,600 plates. After some work on those materials, you come up with a 3D reconstruction of the specimen. Here, you can see the specimen transparently, so you can see it in detail and also in three dimensions. The specimens yield a good deal of interesting information. You can see here some folding around a nodule of perite. And this folding here is formed in a very flexible way. This shows quite clearly that the thing in question is an organic material, fairly flexible and probably rather gelatinous. Examination using X-ray microtomography on extremely fragile specimens has enabled us to detail a rather complex morphology, with a central concretion surrounded by a highly organized radial fabric running from the center toward the periphery. Sections can also be done on all the other specimens, revealing the internal morphology of those specimens as well. So, this has really become a piece of global heritage that needs to be preserved. And that's my primary mission, protecting this quarry as soon as possible. The office of the President of the Republic of Gabon and the National Park Service have henceforth secured the site and restricted access to it. The perimeter has been mapped to avoid any exploitation in the area. The steps required to get the site classified as a national heritage and world heritage site are currently being taken. <laughs>